Hey Geeks, Tim Tibbetts with MajorGeeks.com, Big Shock. Today we're looking at Kaspersky System Checker. It is designed to examine your system for software vulnerabilities, malware, viruses. It's a system information tool. I think it's going to be one of those tools techs might want to take with them. I'll show you why. It's completely portable, but two things you want to watch out for here. First off, it's going to create a folder. As you can see here, since I'm running from my desktop, so wherever you run it, it's going to create a folder. So watch out for that so you know where it is. As you can see, there's quite a bit of folders and files in here that you're going to want to maybe get rid of later when you're done. Essentially, there's not much to it. You will get a, uh, give me a minute, you know the agreement, license agreement. Call your lawyer, look it over, you know what I'm talking about. Not much here, more products, etc. So you just click on run and you kick back and wait. It's going to go through your whole system checking for viruses. It's then going to look at software vulnerabilities and other settings of your system. It's probably going to take you at least a few minutes to run on an older system a little bit longer. So I could sit here and whistle a tune or I'll just uh, come back in a minute and show you where we're at once this is finished scanning and show you around a little bit. I'll be right with you. And here we are just a few minutes later finishing up. As you can see, we have a few tabs here, detected item system info and additional info. You can save your report if needed, and also you can rescan. There's some issues here with Microsoft Internet Explorer. However, some of these things don't give you an option to repair anything where other things do. User account control is disabled. I do that on purpose, so that's fine. Uh, not typical on most people's systems. No device problems, malware, firewall problems. Uh, some of them will give you information. Some of them, like this is just information, there's nowhere to go. Uh, obviously, if you're watching this, you know the answer is to use something else. System information. This is kind of neat. It's got your operating system, whether you're using Windows Defender and, of course, award-winning protection. And I'm not going to knock Kaspersky because they make a great antivirus and they make some great standalone uh, removal tools. Your BIOS update, if it can get it, your processor, just your basic system information, of course, uh, hard drives, etc. So you have your browser extensions that are installed. You also have a list to, if you need it, installed programs. This gives you an opportunity to not just look at the programs, but basically it's a shortcut to uninstall stuff. So if you had a system with some drive space wasted, you could go to the large program, see what's using the space to get rid of them. For example, recently installed and infrequently used. As you know, if you're removing malware, there might be some programs you need to get out of here and they usually show up under recently installed often because they were recently installed. Additional info. Once again, we're getting the Microsoft Internet Explorer information, but you want to get past this. This is kind of neat. Auto run is allowed. CD DVD is enabled. And as you can see, you got a couple other things. Again, there's not much here. There's nothing to click on. There's no mouse over. Pretty much tells you what it is. And as a geek, you're hopefully going to have to figure out how to do it. That said, if you had a problem, let's say, let's get back, uh, find something I can pick. History of typed URLs, uh, caching data. You could always uh, type that into Google and look it up. But sadly, and maybe somebody will watch this, a nice thing here would be to be able to right click on this since I can highlight it and have it open it in my browser to speed things along. That would be a nice touch. But there isn't really a ton to it, as you can see, but it does fill in some gaps. So when you're scanning for viruses, you can get much further and maybe make some tweaks to the system with the problems that you find, whether they're stuff like the CD DVD auto running to detected items to your system information so nice little app I think it's got a little bit more to go I don't know sometimes Kaspersky goes nuts with these and sometimes they just kind of leave them be but we'll see how this goes I hope they update this more I think it could be a very handy little tool that does a little bit more than some and a little bit less than others so that's pretty typical fills a gap though so there you go. That's a quick look at Kaspersky System Checker. Take a minute, click, click on the subscribe button. That'd be pretty cool. And as always, we thank you for taking the time to watch our videos and support Major Geeks. And hopefully we'll see you next time.